Uh, can I play with the tray? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Let's play with the trains. Hey, what's up? Oh, excuse me, sir. You did not win a ticket for this train. You got it. Um, I can't Come see, on, man. Gee. Oh shit. I just want to see how this works. Um, I can let's... be a real superhero and save the train from disaster. <sighs> I remember playing this when I came here. Years I, I am ago. clicking to make yeah. the train stop. Things were so different back then. I am clicking to make the train stop, but it didn't work. Um, let's get this one. Yeah, right. That's going right. That should come down here. Let's prepare a refill. This model is so amazing. Yeah, Grandpa says it took. Cool. Can you uh, believe it? It's crazy. Let's set. No, let's. Anything I ever did in Minecraft. I'll make the train go and stop. Right, it should be stopping now. Can we offload the goods? <laughs> yes. Go. Oh, the, oh my god, you can up the speed. I'll put it up a little bit, but I don't want to break it, because you know it's a feature of the game. The train is going to derail. Okay, let's slow it down a bit. Um, shit, I didn't mean to do that. I want to go that way. Um... I can hear footsteps. Is some... This toy train is kind of soothing, actually. What's going on with the camera here? I don't want to derail it. Let's uh, let's check this place out. Full speed ahead. Okay, very, very, very fun. I wonder if there's some more you can do with that. Get some sort of cheap. Oh, hang on. Um, can we stop it? Right now, I've, I'm just leaving evidence that I've messed around with shit. I wonder um, if Steven has ever seen a flying train. Make it stop. Let's stop the train. Hang on, sign. What's Ooh. what's what sign? There actually, was something stuck in there. R? Achievement unlocked. Family business. Let me just quickly check what that is. Find optional optional collectible too in this episode. I don't know what revealed the sign, but cool. Nice. Right. Okay. Train is stopped. Um. Right. Can we have a little? It did say it was locked, didn't it? This used to be Karen's room. Hmm. I wonder why they're calling her Karen. And do you see what I mean? I wonder why they're calling her Karen and not Mom. Oh, he's trying to open it. Oh. Okay, let's go back down. I just wanted to check we couldn't go in. Mm. Is it because she left? I see anything. You know how it is. You she's, she, she's not our mother anymore. Probably old boxes and stuff. Nothing worth her time. Oh, can I go outside? Oh, shit. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Um... The, 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 hang on, ask Stephen for the shared key. Get the glue from the closet. Right, okay. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. Can't go outside yet. Cool. Can I uh, speak Sorry to her? Getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel. Oh, Tried shit. One of Claire's books yesterday. Oh, bollocks. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. So she just apologized to us. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, I can draw. Nice. Feeling of love. Passion princess. Uh, escape to pleasure. Man. Does Claire read all these? That is good advice. Stephen ought to read this. <laughs> Man. Can you imagine watching a slasher out That's here? That's like a 52-inch TV, is that? Deep in the woods. No one around. <sighs> no way. Two stairs. <laughs> right, let's draw. Hey, I want to be in your drawing. Okay, then. Oh, don't draw me like this, Sean. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. <laughs> don't worry. I'm drawing the whole room. Good. I'm, I'm having like it's flashbacks so nice of the Titanic. Time to take the pen, dude. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. 
I just had a Titanic flash, I don't know why. I want you to draw me like one of your models. Except the opposite. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. You're moving quite a bit, dude. Okay. Got it. Um, where are we adding details? I can't see. Oh, there. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. How many times can you say the same thing? Time to draw now. I'm moving my shit. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. I think one more. Fish tank. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. I'm not moving. Beautiful. Hope I look good. Okay. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Nope. I'm not moving. I can't do anything look without good. looking up first. These are quite lengthy segments, these. Let's get Claire in all, all her hand stubborn hand. glory. I'm not moving. Hope I look good. Seriously. You need to shut up. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. Got it. I'm going as fast as I possibly can here. There we go. One day this book will be a collector's item. Look at the reflection in the table. That's awesome. You can see the fish tank. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Uh, Such uh, a big uh, fireplace. And not even needed. I do really like this home, That's I've got to say. I do. <clears throat> oh, this looks cool. Too bad it's broken. What happened to the ship? Oh, that thing? Stephen made it years ago. But it fell, and he doesn't know how to fix it. That's sad. Looks pretty uh, cool, anyway. Yeah. I'm trying to see the snowman outside. Well, it's life. Thank I couldn't see the snowman. Up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No worries, right? No let's problem. go help Gramps. Let's get his glue from the cupboard. Uh, Sean? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Sorry, I was too busy playing with your train Whoa. set. Careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but... Uh, I know, he's I too obsessed with his me. trains. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. I don't know why, but the face of this I'll old man... The power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Power cable. It reminds me of Nathan Prescott's dad in the face a little bit. Just a much older version. I don't so, know why. Listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I have no fucking idea. Um, I mean, honest to God above... Honest, like I said in episode one, honesty is the best policy. Lying never fucking helps. Telling the truth hurts sometimes. But lying is always bad. You know what I mean? I'm telling the truth. I, I usually yeah. do. I do. Even in real I, life, I, I can't be bothered with secrets. Is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. I would tell him the truth about that's and how the police officer died. I would tell him the truth. There's nothing wrong with telling him the truth. Yeah, Daniel's I, power I thing really killed the think. police officer. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah. It'd be locked in a rubber room. We can't do that. He needs you. I like or him. Anything else. I like him more than her. By the way, let's keep this between us. Yes, good idea. Claire good idea. has a lot of strong beliefs. Oh, I know. She wouldn't understand. 
She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Maybe. Uh, I mean... I'm just going to say, why not? Uh, th right from the very beginning, I never agreed with the running away thing. Like I said at the start of episode one, I thought it was a weird decision to run away, even with the police officer dead. Because um, the only evidence that, the only evidence of what the fuck happened was on the police uh, cop car camera. And all that showed was like an explosion. Um, and that's not evidence of shit. That that's nothing. So I never I, I never wanted to leave, I'll be honest. Thanks. Maybe we could, but What evidence is there that we I, killed a police officer? I know. Being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's I think, cool. I feel like I recognize this kind voice actor. But I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? No. Um, I'm not going to say you don't know him. I don't want to be an aggressor. Of course not. I want to be a regressor. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself I will hey uh Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed oh uh, sure <coughs> pardon me here you guys enjoy the sun as always I feel like I recognize his voice actor the, the hey, old man careful with that shed it's probably a mess inside Thanks. No worries. No worries. I wonder if we can find out anything more about the mother. Lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Is this Why? the man cave then? Yeah. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. He's got an anti-static work mat. Anti-static work mat. Okay. What's going on here? Mother slash daughter. Oh, God. you found this. I, uh, I just forgot to. Uh... It's okay. I kind of want to keep it. It's been a while since I've seen her face. What the hell happened with the mother? I'm so curious. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know. I can't approve what she's done. But oh, I, what did she do? I so she, okay, understand. the mother did a bad thing Good. of some kind. I don't. No. Maybe, maybe just abandoning the Sorry, kids. John, please don't. Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry, I won't. Maybe the bad thing is just leaving the kids, I suppose. She's... I wonder if she just took off to a different country and just, like, never, like, never talk to them again? Well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites. <laughs> uh, trust me, a break from all this can only do you good. You know, I agree, it's, actually. It's safer that way. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I know. Good point. I mean, I am not one to talk because I am never unplugged from the Matrix, frankly. I'm always plugged in myself, but I could do with a break. Steven sure takes his hobby. I like Steven. He's good. We confided in, in each other a little bit. Um, <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you like 
throwing parties and stuff? No, this is a, a souvenir, you know? I actually met your grandma during a disco night, believe it or not. For real? That's so cool. She disco night. Oh my god. We danced the hustle. <laughs> and I, I knew I was going to marry that woman. Aww. Cool. By the way, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds so very cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd show what it is if only these hips allowed me to. Oh, he's cracking his shit down, but that's my cue to leave. Oh, thank he's you, cool. Sean. She isn't. Got the key? Hey. <laughs> Yes, sir. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <sighs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so after much. After the next load. Okay. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. Already done it. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. True. Daniel can help. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. I wouldn't know what to do with myself, honestly. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no! I'm busy! D busy my ass! Come over busy. here! <laughs> you gotta find me first! Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Beaver Creek Rescue fire department how do we get that shit go outside to check the garden shed and find the dirty linen um i'm guessing dirty linen is the the washing machine shit so let's go outside first that seems to be the next objective cool cool let's go outside first no back door Although, honestly, outside and sort of back garden shit seems like that might trigger... Gotta do the laundry first. Right, okay. I was gonna say, might trigger the uh, the Captain Spirit stuff outside. I keep calling him Captain Spirit. I should just call his call him by his name. Chris. Right, where are you? I get that he's sick of all this shit, but... Why are we playing this game? You know I'm gonna find you! Is he inside the mom's room? Has he figured out a, a way to get in? Is he under the bed? Let's let's tidy shit away first. Can I not see if he's behind the door? <laughs> um, I'm guessing we can't we clean shit up. Training session since we got here, so it sucks. Check the door first. Ah. Oh. Damn. He's probably not even in here. In the cupboard, maybe? I bet he's in the cupboard. Da, 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 da. Can I really not check the cupboard? Like, faux shizzle. Okay. Bathroom? Where the hell is he hiding? Is he hiding in the shower slash tub? Yes, he is. I heard something. That's a bit of that's a bit bullshit though. He's physically not there. You can see in the gap that he's not there. I know you're in there. Gotcha. What the? Oh, he's Behind he's. You. Oh my god. Yeah. Very funny. He yeah he, he's getting good at hide and seek. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool. Again? We always have to clean everything. I yes, don't we wanna. do. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. What? Thanks, Sean. Never mind, I'll just do it all then. What a forgiving person. <laughs> um, let me pick up the laundry. Can't see. Okay. All right. Let's get it over with. While I'm at it, hang on. Uh, while I'm at it, do the laundry. Can we clean up any of the shit? I just want to make All sure. Right. Time to take care of that laundry. I don't. Wanna, I don't want the uh, the mom or the grandmom to uh, complain that we're not tidying shit up. Okay. 
poor Sean has to carry all this shit on his back. I mean, figuratively. Wash. As oh. always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is... Oh, shit. Damn it. I hate interrupting How dialogue. How programs does this thing have? Okay. It Just pu be. push a button. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. I, I don't know if we were supposed to have read the rules. Do not mix whites and colors. That's a bit racist, isn't it? Okay. Right, let's go. Uh, hang on, do we uh, do anything else? No. Okay, let's go outside. Um, why is the? What the hell are you doing? Uh, what? I just hit the the phone. You know what, dude? We're not supposed to be here. He was, was crying it? then. I don't know. Uh, some kid. It was just a prank, Sean. I know. Just be careful, okay? He was crying then. He was crying. Um. I haven't seen any actual. Oh, sorry. Can I do um? Since we got here. Hey, Daniel. Oh, dude. Can you show me the fish? Easy. Just watch. Don't kill the fish accidentally, dude. See? Oh my god. Little guy. That looks like a Japanese fighting oh. fish. He's beautiful. Is that a Japanese fine fish? I'm not good with my fish, but it kind of looks like one. Um, I, can I click on the phone? He was taught, so he was just taught, he was, I heard him crying and then he was on the phone. Done. I'm a bit like, I'm a bit suspicious who he was calling then. Let's go. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. I don't know what we're getting from the shed. I've actually oh, forgotten. Man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. It reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! Ow! Oh. <gasps> uh, oh, let's <laughs> join in. Oh! 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 oh. Don't mind me, neighbors. <laughs> I'm checking out the next door neighbor. This is where we did the adventures of Captain Spirit. The snowman is still intact. We spent the whole week locked up in the house. It would be hilarious. Will things ever go back to normal? It'd be hilarious if we saw him running around doing all the stuff that I did. That would be a that would be it's impossible, but that would be an amazing feature if you saw Chris walking around doing literally everything that I did. Every step, this like it's actually like, kind of nice. Like it was recorded. Wonder you know what, what I mean? it's like in the summer. Whoa, looks pretty awesome. I know, right? Lucky kid. He's about to fall from that, but let's uh, let's go to the shed. This is a beautiful garden. This. Hello, bird. What's the other neighbors like? Oh. Okay, so what are we actually after in the shed? It just says check the shed. And then my memory is dog shit, so I can't remember what we're <sighs> searching for. Get ready for storage wars. <gasps> What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Oh, of okay. course. <laughs> oh shit, here we go. Sean, look! There he is. Oh shit, man. There we go. Oh, yes. Good catch. Don't be annoyed. I mean, he did save him. It was a good thing to do. What up, Chris? Sorry your dad is such a dick. Uh, did you see that? 
Oh. Oh, I mean, I don't want to make the kid f seem like he's gone insane. Honesty. Yeah. Is the best policy. We did. Just get everything in the open. It looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was, I was. I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power Captain Bear. Spirit. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. So cool. I've got the Chibi Power Bear, the talking one. No, no one can, one defeat, can justice. defeat justice. <laughs> Chris, oh God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It, it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes. Even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> this guy has hey no so, no social Are skills you at all. With the Reynolds? Um. Uh. Oh, fucking just tell the truth. Oh, uh. Yeah. There are grandparents. I have no patience for oh, lies. Geez. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm you, sorry, buddy. He he's drunk, by the way. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, like, he woke up drunk. Yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it? Is it... Really? Uh, never mind. See you <laughs> around. <laughs> Fuck me. Sure. I have no patience for, for lies. Or lying or hiding the truth, but I also have no patience for asshole drunk Thanks, motherfuckers. Guys. See you later. Yes, we will. I hope I hope hey, we do. Did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Good question. Really? No. Concede. Yeah. No. He, he should have no, saved him. You. You did the right thing. Yes. But listen, we can't let anybody know. It's not we that have easy. To keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same as that thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's. It's over. Daniel, I think. I think I. I remember that we're hiding out. I think so he did no the right training, thing. No showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Huh. <laughs> I think Daniel completely did the right thing there. He could have used his power, I mean, he sort of, he broke the fall, but then he could have let go quicker, because he sort of let him float there for like 10 full seconds. He could just pull an Albus Dumbledore and slow the fall. <laughs> Like, in a subtle way. Sean loves his underwear with animals on it. First it was frogs and now it's fish. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. The kid never listens. Okay, so, so... Oh, God. He made friends with... Daniel made friends with a puppy. Dead. Now he's making friends with, like, a... With Captain Spirit, who's got a... Destructive dad. Please tell me he's not gonna die as well. Like, just. Oh lord, say it ain't so. And let me guess, he's shown Captain Spirit the actual powers, the real powers now. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Okay. Um, any shit I need to do first? <laughs> no. Okay, uh. I'm at the neighbors. Oh, didn't give a shit about what I told him yesterday. You can't really blame him, though. Oh, come on, make the bed, man. You can't really blame him. Oh, I mean, he's fucking nine years old. He's been through all sorts of shit. He's got magic powers on top of that. And he's finally just met, a, like, a friend his own age. You can't really Claire? fault him. Steven! 
Can I play with the train? Anybody home? Oh, sounds like no one's home. That's a perfect time to bust this shit down. Wow. No. no. Okay. Looks like I'm home alone. By the way, I hope um, I hope the camera work is better in this playthrough. In previous games that I've done on the channel, oh, right. I'm much faster with the camera, and it's um... Clarence Stephen must be at church. Oh, they're at church. Okay. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Yeah, in previous games, I'm a bit fast with the camera, um, and you can tell when somebody's playing on console versus PC, and because PC tends to just be faster. Morning, sleepyheads. We let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. In a bit. Um, the Christmas tree is perfect. Good job. Oh, so they, we made the tree. Okay. Maybe I could use Stephen's laptop. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. I mean, there's no, there's nothing wrong with. Right, we can leave when we want to. Okay. There's nothing wrong with just viewing news. Local news is is fine. You know what I mean. And these are the grandparents of the, um, the fugitives anyway. So it, naturally, they would be looking Steve up news and, and shit. They're gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. Jeez. Stephen went search crazy on us. Oh wow. Oh, I mean, can you can you blame him? Seattle blast and shooting an unresolved mystery. Officer Tanaka, Tr Trisha Tanaka holds press conference on Seattle incident. The uh, the the Seattle Police Department still considering every lead, including terror attack and gang fight. More questions than answers in Seattle incident as friends and neighbors. Okay, where so are the I Diaz brothers? A month old. I blacked out. Says main witness. Oh, so the kid didn't die. Well, that's that's one very good thing. <laughs> At least one of the two dudes didn't die, just the police officer. So the kid says he blacked out. Okay. Holds, hang on. The the police is holding awareness workshops on racial bias. That's a good thing, I, I guess. What the hell is this? Is anybody following the, is this a Reddit post? You could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. This is so Reddit. Hey, is anyone following the Seattle shooting? There's a lot of weird things going on that nobody can explain. How did the police officer die? Where did this explosion come from? How did the brothers get around? Why are the police being so secretive with details? I've been all over this. Go to fakeexplosion.url for the full story of this cover-up. The new power plant they want to build in the city is definitely part of this. I saw the surveillance footage and there's no way that was a natural explosion. What is going on in Seattle? All the superpowers seem to be on the like the west coast, northwest coast of America, all in one little hot spot. Um, I read that a motel owner saw the kids and that he said the kids blew up his toilet. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Um, my friends work for the Oregon PD and they say there's a big secret manhunt for the two brothers. I heard they might have been used for experiments, but now they're on the run because the experiments worked and made them dangerous. Wouldn't surprise me, actually, if that's how they're all getting powers. I know there are experiments going on. Okay, interesting. Oh, shit. Okay. Visit Bro Brody's blog. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is. Oh, my God. Do we read this? Sk you'll be skip much, much welcome. Skip forward if you don't want to listen to this, but I think I'm going to skim it. This dispatch from Off the Road is a tribute to a couple of new young friends I made. Oh, so he's written about us. That's probably not a good thing. If somebody can glean our um, identity. Uh, made a couple of friends on a recent adventure that I've yet to transcribe or fully process. I'll leave the details vague to protect the innocent, but believe me, they are not guilty. Let me digress. The best part about being a professional traveler, meaning I sometimes make gas money off these dispatches, is the people you meet on the road. Of course, the worst part about being a professional traveler is the people you meet on the actual road. I've been too lucky for a variety of reasons, though I've... I've had moments of pants shitting fear from the highway patrol hi hiding patrol hiding following me at night to that weird motherfucker I picked up in Iowa who wouldn't leave the car. Ultimately, I approach strangers as potential friends, if not allies. I'm that naive and stupid that the universe feels sorry for me and lets me skate by as I help people on instinct rather than objectivity. First thought, best thought. I still hear my ex-brother telling me that years ago you read all this 
Kerouac crap, Kerouac crap about life on the road. That's what um, Max met, it, Max mentioned that in the first game about how Kerouac mentioned um, the the romance of of traveling on trains and shit. Anyway. You read all that Kero crap about life on the road, but you can't even change a tire, asshole. He was right, so I changed. I learned how to change a tire. I'm not good at it, so I also have towing insurance. End of dilemma. However, I can't always give my own version of roadside assistance, including to my young compañeros, who needed it the most. I wish I would have done more for them, maybe even joined their quest, but it's a more important journey than mine. Instead of just pushing a rock up a hill, I could have helped them move mountains out of the way. If we were hanging out again, I would ask you to forgive me for not coming along to offer whatever help I could, then again I'm kind of a clumsy dork, and I could have fucked shit up by trying to play saviour. He might be doing that with this, right, with writing this online. My suspicion is that they really didn't need me on the road, just each other. Oh, this is fucking long. So I'll continue to weave this highway and roadside tapestry, always paying it forward. Call it guilt if you want, I'm still that geeky, sincere kid who looked out to anybody who wanted to change the world for good, who wanted to move mountains for others. I always wanted to be a car-bound Lois Lane, a roaming reporter getting in the face of this corrupt matrix. Sure, my adult cynic knows the system is rigged, that we're screwed, and that justice is often a joke. Uh, but when I saw the faces of my wandering friends who went through hell and are still there for all I know, smiling with childlike gratitude at my most trivial of gifts, I felt ashamed, saddened. There are times when I encounter a little soul lost and they flash that wide-eyed, grateful, frightened stare and you feel your heart break into a million pieces. <sighs> my, my, my mouth is dry. Now I think of all those children out there alone in the night on the precipice, the razor's edge of America and beyond, wanting only the most basic of life's needs like food and parents. It makes me cry and sick at once. Then I rage, rage at the dying light and vow to do my part. And spill water all over my face like a fucking child. Brilliant. That's the benefit of an activist on wheels. I always like to think of myself as moving forward uh, like a friendly shark. Otherwise, <laughs> we don't eat. Um, we don't survive. Now I find myself thinking of the past, wondering if I gave the best advice to those in need. If I even helped those lost children of the American night by living... I'd like to plan a visit. Fucking hell. Interesting. Oh my god. Even the weirdest stuff. The nude age, right? This must be what he was writing in the shop. I'm not going to read all this. Um, this is... We've had the important shit. And it wasn't even that important. Tragedy. Rockville Springs, Wyoming. Da -da -da -da. I'm skimming. Citizens suffered their fair share of tragedy. Decades. Shops and services. Da -da -da. Once a good town, not a good town anymore. Da -da -da. Ghosts. Da -da -da. Oil, yeah. nude volleyball, legal scandal, sunbathing in the birthday suit. Mm, okay, right. Okay, that's. Um, I'm gonna call it. That's not important to read. Is that the same news here? Yeah. Jeez. Yes, it is. What okay. the hell is this? Cool. Let's go. Sorry that took so long. I had no idea Stephen could fall for this bullshit conspiracy. That was the longest uh, thing to read yet, and it was also the least important. I really didn't need to read that. <laughs> um, let's go. Okay. Let's get this Brack back home now. Indeed. Let's follow his face. I love the fact there's actual footsteps to follow. Uh... Hello. Oh, they got in the car and left. Okay, that's the grandparents' footsteps. I see. Why does oh, Daniel not listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. No mail? Okay. I'm guessing that was the grandparents' footsteps then, getting in the car. Oh, junk pile. Can we see his mother's memories? Captain, um... <laughs> and I thought Spirit. Daniel was the crafty one. Indeed. Is he going to be inside, or do you reckon he'll be outside by the, uh... Oh, hang on. I just heard a noise in the garage, then. Uh, this snowman might be the souvenir. One of the, um, souvenirs. Dude, move your ass. Who knows oh, what Daniel's uh, doing over there? 
Ah. Wow. Okay. Looks like someone paid the high price here. Indeed. Pick up. Okay. At this point, you probably won't miss one eye. Cool. Achievement unlocked. Uh, blah, 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 bad Santa. Find optional collectible number three. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's do this. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. Oh my god. I mean, come on, Daniel. I know it's it's nice to have a friend, but come on, dude. Come on, bruh. Wow. That's a lot of beer. So, Captain Spirit knows all about us now. Okay. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was oh my flying. God. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Pretty cool. That's just a pretty cool. At least, at least Daniel is making him think like he's got the power. But that's, that's a bit shit. Because as soon as we leave, he's going to realize he doesn't have a power. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So you're like a superhero. I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. This is a but shit that's idea. My secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh, yeah, we need a... <laughs> that doesn't sound like a superhero. <laughs> signal. Totally. I'm going to be Super Wolf. Are we going to have to protect him from his dad? That's just suddenly hit me as a... What's your super name, Sean? As a possibility. Silver Runner El Diazblo Loco. Oh, because his name is Diaz, right? That's 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 cool. Crazy Devil, uh, Silver Runner. Let's go, Silver Runner. How about the Silver Runner? Cool. The Silver Runner. Cool, right? Emphasis on the runner. Not bad. That's true. You're a great runner. Okay, guys. I think we're ready to roll. How oh, does he know we're here? Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. Oh, we better watch yeah. Out or they're going to take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Oh, yes, yeah, that Christmas yes. tree. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. I forgot about There's the tree. Nothing going on over here. Yes, can't wait to see all the decorations. This. Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. This is gonna go bad. Oh, so that I can't say no. That they're both basically yes. We so we are going. Let's so let's just say sure. Um. Okay. Sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give what? me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. Okay, I'm I don't like where this is going. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh. Hopefully dude's still not drunk. The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. Oh my These God. are Captain Spirit's friends. I've and forgotten the names. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. I think so. Um, Bear is good. He's a hero. Um, oh, fuck me. I mean, I, I played this adventures game yesterday and I've already forgotten. Look Insectoid. Hang on. Pirate is a good guy. He was the Sky Pirate, I believe. So he's a hero. Um, warrior. Bear. Hang on, what? I thought Bear was... Oh shit, did I get the wrong bear? Fuck. Careful. 
it oh may my God. be tricky. Insectoid. I actually can't remember Insectoid, but I think it was a villain. Um. The bad. Oh right, no, sorry. Right, there's, there's villains bad. and heroes. Okay. Not that easy, right? Hang on, I don't want them as heroes. Hang on. Sure. Hang on, I'm getting confused here. No, he's. Hang on. Hang on. Mm, okay. So left click to make them heroes. No, right. That that guy is a hero. So heroes on the left, villains on the right. Gotcha. Um. Look closely. I think Dino is a hero. The car, let's put it as a villain. I can't remember. I played it yesterday and I can't remember. I think it's actually a good guy, the car. But let's put it as a villain. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? I don't know why I can't choose uh, heroes for the bear. Care. Oh no, he is there. Okay. It let's go with villains. Maybe tricky. Is that it? Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It oh. was a bit tricky. Okay. Let me introduce them. I can't to you. remember if Insect is a good guy. This Insectoid. Team spirit, the oh, the warrior. Guys. Okay. There's the forest warrior, power bear. I got one wrong. T Rex and Sky Pirate. Damn. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kind of took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroid, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, <laughs> but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf. You know, Daniel. To prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Oh shit, man. Um, you know, did your father know? Hopefully not. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something? Yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. This isn't um, going... I mean, he could be pretty distracted. Well, he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. All right, good. Thank God. Uh, cool tree. That's all cool with him. Let's let's try and let's learn more about the asshole uh, drunk Chris, dad. It's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Claire's always worried. Mm. We're cool, totally. He's. Just He's just a violent drunk. Has a hard time being on his own. That's all. It's gonna be Chris, okay. I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. He's a brave but kid. You'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power. I knew this was going to happen. Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. Did he, just, did he just take a gnarly dump or something? <laughs> okay. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You 
You're welcome, Dad. Oh, I did that. I did that. I chose to do that. That's cool. I'm guessing your decisions when you play the episode of, the, of Captain Spirit just influence little dialogue uh, things like that. That's cool. So we're here to buy a pine tree. Oh, there's, it says gifts. Are we actually getting Christmas gifts? Someone's gonna recognize this dude. You'd think they'd do a better, idea, a better job of clearing the road of snow. In the UK, every road is like gritted and it gets rid of the snow immediately. Oh, pretty quick anyway. Tree sale. Hey buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. Maybe he can. I just miss having friends, Sean. Uh, protect the secret. Stop lying to Chris. Oh. Um. Lying isn't good. I've, I've been saying this. I don't like lying. So we're, t we're telling Daniel to stop lying to Chris and uh, let us know that it's Daniel who's got the power or protect the secret and let Chris keep thinking that he's got a superpower. Um, I want to say stop lying. I really have an issue with lying. I don't know what it is. Um, I just don't like, hi I, uh, not, not just lying, but even just hiding the truth. I read just in games, in real life, I just don't like it. It's not worth it. Honesty is always the best thing. Even if it leads to short term negative effects by telling the truth, something, something bad might happen in the moment, but it's better than having to keep a fucking secret and lie and shit. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Yeah. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? That, that is dangerous. Okay. He could do some serious I shit. Swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? What's with the face paint? <laughs> yeah, let's go. The face paint's Don't a good idea. The face paint is a great idea. It'll help disguise him, but I should have face paint on as well. Wow. So many trees. So many trees indeed. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. <laughs> I bet Dad didn't know about this. About what? Trees. Care spray. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. I've never had a real Christmas tree. It's always been sort of um, fake. Which is kind of better in a way. Is Not chopping loads of trees tree? down. Yeah. I you coming, Sean? <laughs> Don't worry. I am. Hang on. around. Behold, tree wrapper. the giant condom machine. Oh, is that, is that how you wrap the tree? Okay. You, uh, you, I see you pass it through there like a sausage. It's, this is literally a sausage maker. It's what you put the meat through the thing and it goes inside the skin and, it, and yeah, that's how you make sausages. Uh, right, hang on. Find Daniel a Christmas present. Let me just read shit real quick. I've missed like a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, journal, right, hang on. Cool. Drawing, cool. Uh, what the hell, Daniel? The first fucking rule. <laughs> what was that kid running away from? Yeah. Dad is an asshole. Bagged trees. 
How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Well, there's a lot of people. I thought I thought well, pine trees. The one you want. I thought pine trees had like spindly, very thin. Um, I don't know what you call them, but like needles. Like that one. This one's much. See, this is different to the other ones. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. While well, he's still busy with Chris. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. There's a lot of creepy shit in this game. Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Too thin. You're right. We need a strong tree to protect our base from evil elves. <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Oh, hello. Okay. Can I not take a pine cone Let's for uh one. So we are we actually trying to find the perfect tree here? I wonder what will happen to the trees no one buys. It's a good point. Would you've like cut the tree out of the ground? I think I assume it's kind of like dead. Oh, we're going through to there. Um, hang on, where's the where's the dad? The the dad was right here. He was stood right here. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Hey. Hey, what up, Sean. dude? What's up? Just wanted to thank you for bringing us out of here. Hey, no and question problem. you. I hope you'll find what you're looking for. It's kind of a tiny place. It's perfect. Don't worry. Good luck with that tree. <laughs> yeah, I sure need it. It's not an easy task with this guy. Come get me when you're done. I will. Hey, so Charles, I just wanted to uh, say hi and thanks for bringing us along and uh, and how many times have you beat your child, motherfucker? Okay. Anything to say? Lady in red? It's nice to leave the house after being locked up the whole week. Lady in red. She's dancing with the trees. Tree to tree. Face on the whole panel. Whoa. <laughs> the guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Cool. Hello. <laughs> she looks so out of place here. It is a strange place. We'll eat. What did that sign say? We'll eat for food. I'll give us some money. Sure. But I want to listen first. I want to get my money's worth. Oh, she knows. She knows she's got an audience now. It's me. It's me. Oh, this is. Oh, this is going to be copyrighted. I'm still going to get boned for this on YouTube. We play the game with skillful ends, and so I asked for your demands. I don't want to interrupt it. This is kind of what I was talking about. I want to experience the game as it was intended. I would really like to include this in the video. Very nice song. Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. That's why I wanted to not interrupt it. What? Um, no, yes. I... She seemed pretty I mean, cool. It was pretty cool. I, I That's just... what I said. <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. I like the shaved head um, thing. Great voice. You have a great voice. You should be on one of those 
talent shows. shows. That's yeah. kind of nice. Not really my thing, though. Oh, she's a I country girl. Show business shit. Well, thanks for the music. And good luck. See ya. Ta can I play? I can give her uh, money, can't I? Let's go. Let's give her some money. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. That wasn't much, but that was like one cent, man. Hey, I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. She Anyone seems cool. Interested? Anyone? I, I get vibes like this is what Chloe could have been if she, you know, you know, could sing. You know what I mean? If Making I some small change. Day, I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. Hey. Oh shit. Hey. Miss me Ca already? Hmm. What? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean. I'm just messing with you. It's nice to chat for a change. Me and my friends have been I'll tell you. crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. No way? What does that mean? Oh, right, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. I'm guessing homeless. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And Life on the road. It must be it's a cool. long ride. That's cool okay. with me. We hop on trains. Cool. Gives us and a, and a, a real train hopper. Man, that sounds wicked. You have no idea. It's free and so This life fun. was made for Chloe Price. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. Can we join her? Seriously. Stoner break. <laughs> Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hello. Hello. Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well. Uh, how much caffeine has he think? drank? <laughs> Calm down, dude. I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. Hmm. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. That was a very smooth, uh, uh superhero outfit. bump. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. Oh, God. I thought I could. We're given real names. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much? Oh my make? god. You ready? Oh, he's got dreads. Hello, pups. What's up, dude? Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. How much weed have you smoked, sir? Him. And he stinks. Yeah, <laughs> you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. I like her, but I don't like him as much. She looks cool. Indeed. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. <laughs> You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. I wish we could yeah, join them, yeah. honest to God. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. And maybe we will. See you around. Genuinely, Dog maybe so we will. Cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. Sorry, dude. 
We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. Oh, An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Oh, this guy's a dick. Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch he, your mouth. He might. He might do something. Causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> no. Oh, God. No. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. That you this guys isn't good. don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. He's a dick oh, and... Parasites. What the fuck, man? Fight? Oh, I God. I why he yelled like that. We should He's... kick his ass, Sean. Uh, no. He is a dick, but he's he's threatening to call. <sighs> Although we can prank him. <gasps> oh, can we prank him without him knowing it's us? Can he use his mind powers to just hit him on the back of the head with something? Oh, I've got to. I know what I was. I was just thinking he's he's like this close to calling the police, and that's the end of everything for us. But if we can do it in a subtle way, let's prank him. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? Oh, this, is, this would be now. awesome. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. I wonder if this is just going to make him even more angry. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. Nice. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh too much. He's looking right at us. Like... He's staring at us. That's not good. I, I, I mean, Jesus Christ. I hope we do meet them on the road. They seem cool. They're like the nicest people we've met yet. Beaver Creek. Letters to Santa. Dear Santa, we've been good kids this year. How do I let Sean... Please explain this hot mess. <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. Your loss. <laughs> this is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. I, want, I mean, Seattle, Max from the first game was in Seattle before the events of the game. I wonder if they ever crossed paths. Is that a yo yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. I'm not stealing. Nope. Nope, I'm a good, I'm a good citizen. No, ten dollars. How much money do I have? I forgot I can check for money. Oh my god, I've got three dollars. How, I don't, it didn't say how much we gave the singer. So I'm a bit sort of like, oh. The best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. Pet them like these. Shit, man. I'm guessing the amount of money we have, I, I could have had more if so I didn't spend loads on the video game. Price if you, buy two. It, you know, the arcade game in the first episode. If I didn't spend so much damn money. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hmm. Hope you're doing well. Gifts. Uh, pick one. Are they free? Handmade local products. Come take a look. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. They look cool. I, I would take a. I would take a. Is that a chipmunk? I'll take one of those. Thirty dollars. Ten dollars. Uh. Is there anything for three dollars, man? Okay. Seriously. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Too bad oh. we can't come and see. Maybe Hang on, so, we'll so I need to get a gift for Daniel. At least. I've got to get, get a gift for Daniel and the both the grandparents with three dollars three cents. Um spice cider four dollars. How much is the food? Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. 
I'm fucking hungry. It's, it's amazing the effect a video game can have on me. Um, let's speak to him. Hey. Can I get a discount? Hi, good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns mm. are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Um. Let's say the Ericsons. Maybe. Let's say the Ericsson. I don't want to say the f the family because then we'll know we're, they'll know we're directly related. Oh, I'm at the Ericsons. Ooh, you're with Charles. Yes, That's sir. Good. Didn't know he had any relatives. Not relatives, just friends. Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Can I have a discount, please? I'm really poor. Like I've I don't have four dollars to my name. Deals in Beaver Creek. Holy shit! Pray hard, work hard, hard. Trust God. Seriously, um, it says pick one, but I don't have five dollars. If this steals it, I'm gonna be really upset. Um. Oh, right, okay. We Seven, five, ten. Products. Come take a look. <laughs> Um, I think Daniel, I can't, I can't buy any for fuck's sake, but I think Daniel would like the, uh, the bear, the snowman, beaver. I think he would like the, the, the bears. That's way too expensive. Oh no. I you won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. I know. Yeah. Can we drink some cider? Can we straight up get shit faced? I think Daniel has enough broken toys. Steven could fix it up. No? Okay. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. That looks delicious. Muy delicioso. I need to get my Spanish on in this playthrough. Mi Española. Um, there's gifts over there. Find Daniel a Christmas present. I mean, I'm guessing... Uh, uh, I'm guessing there is the free option if you don't have enough money. Because that's the objective right now, literally. If I have enough cash left, I... Oh my god. Get a gift for Clarence Steven. Do I have to steal the yo-yo? Nope. Man. It would have been so cool to have one of these. I really don't want to have to steal. If if I have to steal, that's a little bit bullshit. Welcome, um, kid. Hit me up if you want anything. I want to speak to her. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. Hmm. Uh, how come? how come? Well, people certainly don't buy as much handmade Christmas decorations as they used to. The mall has ruined every single shop in the Oh, world. the shop over Can't the town. Anything uh, about road. It, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. Her face seems to be too small. Her, the, her features on her face seem to... No, that's what I'm trying to say. Her face seems to be too small for her head. It's like it's like someone's taken her facial features and just scaled it down to the center of her face. I know. It sucks. But we can't do anything about it. Right? I like to think there's always a solution. How you know what I mean? How frustrating that thought can be. Anyway... You've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? That's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. You have a nice day. Right, I'm guessing I'm fucked. And I've got to steal. What happens if I try and walk away? Oh, it turns me around. Nope, I don't want to go that way. Do I have to steal a yo-yo? Like, for real? I don't just give him a toy that I already have. Things seem kind of heavy, but I won't come back into town. Are you serious? I've got I to have... I've... Chance to grab Daniel with present. Quick. Okay. Well, I can't afford anything. I we straight up. Handmade local products. Come take a look. I mean, there's literally, I believe, no other option. So let's steal the yo-yo. I can't leave there, there, there's no other items. 
I've got to steal the yo-yo. I don't like this. Just for the record, I don't like this and I don't agree with it. If I had two more dollars, I'd buy a bear or some shit. I don't. I know it I sucks, but... Daniel deserves it too. Right? We, that's the first... That is the first actual official crime that Sean has committed, by the way. He's, he's not innocent anymore. <gasps> We've broken the law. Right, where are we going? I could have gone over to the to the molly thing over there and seen if I can get a two dollar gift or three dollar gift. Um, where the fuck? Find Charles to leave them. Oh, here we go. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. I don't think there'll be any consequences. I think that yo-yo steal option Are is there. Too much fun back there. Just in case you don't have any money. That's what I thought. So I don't think there's going to be any consequences. I wonder how much money I gave um, Cassidy, the singer. Ice cream, Tex-Mex. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh. At least we're back again. And nobody seemed to recognize us. Hmm. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um, Cassidy? Um, Cassidy? He was paying attention. Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? Sure. She's she was cool. cool. You too quick! I wouldn't say no. <laughs> anyway, <Got ya. laughs> it's good for me to get out too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she mm. died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Two years ago. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. I'm going to say having problems. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Again, I'm just going to tell him the truth. Claire and Steven seemed a bit worried about you guys. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris, but I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Or well, the right idea. Or threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model, but I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Is he throwing an Uno reverse card in there and, and casting his, casting his uh, negative shit on my family now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanna talk, I wanna hear as much about the mom leaving as possible. Yeah, my, my mom left my dad a long time ago. She never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> oh, you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you Good. Later, Super Wolf. Positivity. That's what we need. He's letting his kid... <laughs> Don't run over the kid. 
Oh my god, I, I, was, I was scared for a second that he was actually intentionally gonna fucking run down the child. Hello? Hello? Are they back yet? Claire? Steven? Is this where we find out they're, like they're sending the police? Come back from church yet. This isn't good. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, no. yeah, I did. Oh. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Mm. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? I don't like the framing of this. Sean? I don't like the framing of this I picture. Check on the room. Oh, right, okay. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. Yeah, I want to as well. It, I'm sorry. It's important. It's too important not to. Yeah, no, I want to as well. You won't give up on that, right? Y you can't it's just, not. I really want to know what's inside. Me too. What kind of stuff she has. It's worth getting Chris in trouble. She has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. No, I will do. I want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We can always go back on the run and go camping again. But this is too important. How can you not? How can you not? Let's go inside. Let's let's figure out what the hell is going on. Find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. No, that you've got to. Yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead. All right. You need you need to. Uh, Conceal our evidence. We can still get away with it. Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. All right. Are we gonna find a key on top? I like the fact you don't have to click on the chairs in this game. It just does it for you. <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna find. Dude, hurry. Karen's smile on this picture. Kind of reminds me of Daniel's. We've got no info other, other than she just didn't like want anything. She just basically took off. We don't know anything else. Maybe she didn't want the family life. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. You should take it. Would be cool to ask Stephen about his firefighting career. Small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Mm. Wish I had the chance to find my thing too. Hum, hum, hum. I don't know if this is timed, by the way. I don't like being timed. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or mm. freak. Dude, I'm trying to find the keys. Clothes. I like the fish on the wall. <laughs> Definitely no hidden key. It's never safe to search in someone else's nightstand. Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? We clearly don't share politics, but... At least Steven doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old-school pop rock music. There's dentures in there as well. Yeah. Not much to see in here. Okay. Vanity drawer is probably in there. Find a way to get into Karen's room. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still so... <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. I wonder if there's some deeper reason. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. I w I'm starting to wonder uh, suddenly if there's any deeper reasons why the mother might have left and something to do with Daniel and his powers. Sean. I wonder. I, I don't know why I haven't thought that until now. I wonder if she left for some reason connected to the powers. I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. Sharp objects. It looked like she <laughs> left something. Bit like Claire. Then she locked the door. I'm listening to Did what you, he's saying. 
See where she put the key? Oh shit. Locked drawer. Oh my god. Are, are, are we gonna have to are we gonna have to find keys to find some keys? Are we gonna find keys to find keys to find Come keys? On, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. But that's Wait, the key to open the vanity drawer. Sleeping pills. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Holy babble. Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Oh my god. Talk about trying to have some luck. A, a clover, a horseshoe, and a sheep. Well, let's, um, <sighs> let's, let's steal the fish. Okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. Hang on. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Close no. the drawer. Close no the fucking drawer. Claire's underwear. Good decision. Right, let's unlock this shit. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. That's gross. But still, no key here. Can I lock that and put the key away, please? No, I guess not. I hate in every single Life is Strange game so far, your your character never hides um, evidence that you've been snooping around. Like, come on, lock it and put the key back, man. Um. Uh. Come on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh. Where is this cardigan? Look at you again. No way she wore it to church. Um, hang on a sec. Hang on. What cardigan did he just mention? No way she wore the cardigan to work. When was a cardigan mentioned? Um. I don't know where that came from. Did I miss something? Was there any cardigan in here? No. Where the fuck did mention of cardigan come from? Laundry? <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Hmm. I'm gonna have to watch my own recording back. Um, Daniel, you really think you could open this door without no. doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can. Come oh, on, Sean. Gotta find a way to open that door. Or Daniel's gonna keep ranting mouth. about it. I wonder if there is a way to find key. Um, I mean, can I find a cardigan? So, I mean, we've got the option now to blast the door down. Karen hated clothes. And there's nothing else. There's nothing else in here, is there? Come on, dust traps. Keychain. No, so I've still got the key. But that's it. I mean, I, I guess the point is. Yeah, okay. Clearly the point is to just have to do this. I've searched everywhere. It's not on the back of the door, is it? Oh. Okay. Okay, then. Maybe in the vase? Vase? Yep. It's empty. I feel like there, there is actually a way of getting the key, you know? But there's no options. So let's just do it. Fuck it. Fuck. Can't find that stupid key. I bet you I bet you Just can't even find the key. Yes. I bet there is no key. And don't blow apart the whole house. I don't even know how you would do this. <laughs> really? Wow. Oh, he's broken the door, man. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Hmm. Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Right, this is where we need to look at everything. What do you think happened to all the stuff in my room? When we left. Um. I'm 
sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. They want to forget search. anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. I've got to find out what she did. I just simply must. <laughs> I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. That's lost its all its color. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. Ulysses. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... The hero? I, I believe it's, it's pronounced so Ulysses. It's like... She almost never used those. Hmm. These pictures are so... Normal? Random. We've got to be able to find something out. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Hi, Ulysses. Oh, he's talking to the bear. Ooh, she amethyst. New Age bullshit. Is she hippie? Yeah. Is she like a big traveling hippie, Why basically? Like forever. Hang on, coward. the green choir coward. Oh, so they, they, they resent her for leaving, obviously. Um, I wonder if she's just like straight up hippie traveler lifestyle and she never wanted to settle down. I have the green, I hear the green choir singing in the forest. Oh, it's a poem. Okay. Hang on. When I hide in my heart, hearing that sound, that makes me feel older than the forest. Or if I slid into the soil, would the, would the voices muffle? That sounds a little... Hang on. So over the treetops, over the river, I feel myself leaving forever. Mm, I'm not so sure what to think of that. I'm getting like she just didn't want to stay for vibes. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Dear Karen, thank you so much for your letter. I thought you might have forgot your pen pal. It's so boring out here and your letters are the best thing ever. You were saying you could get very lonely too sometimes up there in Beaver Creek, so I'm glad we found each other. It's funny, not, that I have this big family, but I'm so jealous of you for being an only child. You get the whole house to yourself like a queen. I told you before how my stupid brother, Keaton, uh, is such an immature boy, even though he's the oldest of all my siblings. He thinks he's so cool now just because he has a driver's license. Whatever. Just wait till we can drive, then we can visit each other. I wonder if that's where she is. I hear my dad yelling about something, so I got... I can't fucking read. I got a bail before he gets to me. Please write back soon. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, right. Okay, she's got a pen pal. Having? Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I wonder if she's got, like, I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting to get, um, Rachel Amber vibes. Like she just wanted to get out, sort of a feel. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Did she take you with her? Hope you enjoyed your trips. Women so free. On us for nothing. When she went on trips? <sighs> Read a lot oh, of these I in the 10th grade. I'm sorry that I'm interrupting Daniel's oh. thoughts, but if I didn't, this, this episode would take 10 hours, so I've got to interrupt him. I don't recognize any of these games. CD rack. This playlist is boring as hell. CD player. Uh, play. God help me and the copyright problem. I think it's not plugged. Okay, good. <laughs> Fuck it, good. What's in this uh, the secret chest then? Disposable camera. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. Oh, so he, so he does. He remembers her. Okay, so Daniel was like too young. Um, I was I was <laughs> I was wondering for a second there if she left before Daniel was born. What the fuck am I? Have I been smoking? Of course she didn't leave before he was born. He came out of her. I miss my skateboard. Okay, I'm going to the park. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. So, so Sean remembers everything. I think Daniel was too young, but Sean remembers everything. Okay. Oh, hang on. Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. 
Okay. We'll way down to Mexico. Anything else? Huh. Can I speak to, uh, hang on, letter? What letter is this? Why would Claire lock these up in here? Where did that come from? <laughs> I clicked on everything over on that desk before. Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it, what's it say? say? Yeah. Read it. For the love of God, what's it say? Seriously, stop. We all want to know, Sean. Yeah. How about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. I can see why. It's a PO oh, box shit. I use sometimes. Oh my God. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. Mm. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. Mm. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get mm. any wrong ideas. Uh, we should just stick to our plan. We've got some friction here. For now. I want to meet her. Can I do this again? <laughs> Frankly. Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Huh. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? What do you Except think? Visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church. We were just looking. We wanted answers. answers. Uh, and, uh... Were they really worth breaking my door open? Claire, yes. Please, calm yes. down. No, yes, Stephen. they were. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. It's time you learn to respect other people, bitch. Like, seriously. You can't just you, hide. Oh shit. You lied to us. Oh shit. We found mommy's letter. She wants to see us. She's I didn't see not my daughter. I didn't anymore. see that I was timed. Or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. I think it's time we go. It's been 8 years. Don't blame us. Hmm. There was no timer on that thing before. And usually if it's time, there's a timer. It's been eight years. Don't blame us. I mean, yeah, don't blame us. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She <laughs> hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. She might be right, Listen, but... Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that... Breaking our door to sneak into the room... Oh my god, let it go, woman! That shows you don't respect us. Oh, Jesus. Go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Fuck me. Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why mom left now. Yeah. She can't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Get this goddamn thing off me. It's not going to be that heavy, but... No. D is Daniel going to have to use his powers? No, stop! Oh, my legs! At least we had nothing to do with this. 
Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, to be fair, even a, a wardrobe filled with stuff isn't going to be that heavy. They could lift it off, but... Uh, okay. Use power or lift together. Use the power. Um, I liked Steven more than her, and yeah. You just, 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 just fucking do, do it, it. Daniel. If no. it can help. Do what? What's going on? If it can help. Sure. Oh, Lord, what? Why not? What are you doing, Daniel? Why hide it? Why hide it? Raise it up, boy. Raise it. Cool. Don't drop on his feet. Cool. Good job, dude. Good oh, job. My baby Stephen, are you okay? Does she not have any questions? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. Are his legs broke? What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It Stop. was a miracle. Stop. Yeah, go. Okay, yes. Okay. Lord. <laughs> okay, yes, fine. Whatever stops her being a colossal fuckwit. I oh, Jesus Christ. What's he doing? What's he doing here? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Good. Who called? Was it that asshole? Was it the Sean, dick? What are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. Okay. Distract him. This was inevitable. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. You're that was a bit mean. I'm so sorry. Did he mean to be that mean? I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. At least they're alive, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. At least they're alive and we're leaving on good-ish terms. Wait for me while I go up there. Well, this is the end of the episode. Very dramatic piano music. That that's about as good of an ending as we could get. We're leaving on good terms with the grandparents, both of them. No one's dead or hurt. Move your ass, bro. And we told the truth. You say no harm came from us telling the truth. Shit. They were okay with the truth. This way. Open to the hill. Run to the hills. Wait, uh, coward fell on him? You might want to keep running, dude. Whoa! Oh shit, dude! Oh no! Oh my god. No, that's not good. That's not good, because now, the if the cop is alive, he's gonna blame him. That's not- okay, that's- that's all sorts of bad. I, if the cop is dead, that's another murder to our charges. And then he's gonna think that that Chris, the Captain Spirit, has the power, and he's gonna blame him, and he's gonna get shafted. What the fuck? Did did Daniel really have to yeet him off the road into a tree that hard? Yeah. He could have just, he could have forced stopped it. Be or... so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. 
You're always telling me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. Yeah? I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? It doesn't, directly. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. It caused the original problem, but, you know. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... It's cool, yeah. Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? Sure. I don't know. From jail or otherwise, sure. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? Mom. Mom's see. P.O. Box. See, Mom? No way, yeah. man. Come on. Yes. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. Oh. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. I reckon Daniel's gonna try and leave at some point in the next episode, maybe. Merry Christmas, Inano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Yeah, I know he could have. He could have saved it. Dates are boring. Here. Gotta love a good yo-yo. Gee, a yo-yo? Awesome. It's all I could afford. I reckon next episode or episode four, Daniel is going to try and leave at some Are point Christmas? to go find the mom. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. What can I hear? Oh, man. That's so cool. Super Sean with no leg. Hey. Listen. There's a ride. Come yeah. On. All aboard. Oh, we're, oh, we're train hopping. I wonder if we're going to meet Cassidy again. Cassidy and the stoner. That's a bit fast. Fucking hair in my face. That's a bit fast, man. We can't jump on that. That's ridiculous. There's no way. That's that's that'll kill us. It's me. It's me. Oh, it's slowing down, is it? Can Daniel slow it down with his powers? Cool. Now we're living on the tracks. Cool. To be continued. Cool. Episode 2 rules. Achievement unlocked, free spirits. I, I wanted to skip because I don't want to get copyrighted, but that was a beautiful song. That was nice. I might go and listen to the full song on my own, but I want to try and minimize the copyright stuff. Um, just, just to put it into perspective, as I'm recording this, I've only uploaded one part so far, part one of episode one, and that's got three copyright claims on it. That one half of one episode has three fucking copyright claims. It's, these games are crazy, but, you know, 
I'm I'm glad I'm still making the right decision to use the actual music and not mute it. Um, because I want to I want to experience the music. It's a, such a big part of Life is Strange. Anyway, here's the shit. Um, you threw a snowball at Daniel fifty two. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, so over half of people actually threw at Daniel. I sort of didn't realize at first because I wasn't stupid and I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize I was supposed to miss. I thought that was what I was supposed to be doing. I think that's what everyone else did. 1% of people threw it at Mushroom. I literally can't believe that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fucking 1% of people are evil. And somebody... And 11% of people, oh fucking hell, no, 11% of people did both Daniel and Mushroom. Okay, damn it. I'm not going to throw it at the dog. You intervened and scared the cougar off, 55%. Cool. You let Daniel kill the cougar. And then the slight majority there, I was right, I was right that it was a cougar, by the way. Um, and I reckon I'm in the good majority there. That's that's the right decision. You don't want a nine-year-old kid to use his brand new power to rip apart an animal and kill it. That would have been horrific for a nine-year-old, so I made the right choice there. You prayed together with Claire and Daniel. Sure, just that's for the that's for Claire's sake more than anything. Um Cool. Vast majority. You confessed to Stephen about Daniel's power 50-50. Hey. I just, I can't get away from the honesty is the best policy mindset. It it just, in all facets of life, whether it's a video game or real, it just, I can't, I have no patience for hiding stuff or lying. You know, I really don't. Just be fucking truthful. Just, it makes life so much easier and better. Um, you helped with extra chores, majority, yep. You told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. I did, that's because he did. Um, majority again, 56%. You didn't use Stephen's laptop to log into your profile. I didn't even see that was an option. I saw the news and then I saw Brody's um, blog, but I didn't see any option to, to log in. I thought I was quite thorough. Um, but I wouldn't have used it anyway. Because that's evidence that we've been there. 67% of people, you didn't use the phone to call Lila! What? Oh, I know what I just said about evidence and, and, and uh, giving ourselves away to the police, but I would definitely have called her. I, I even, I've clicked on literally everything this episode, including the fucking phones, by the way, and there was no option to call Lila. Must have been one of those moments where you've got to, like, look at it again, and then, then there's the option to call her. Interesting. Shit! So, you didn't. Quarter of people did. 7% of people, you couldn't talk to Lila and lied to her mother. 1%, you couldn't talk to Lila and tell the truth to her mother. Interesting. I guess we'll never know. Um... 77% of people, you didn't gain Chris's trust. Oh, so that was not that. Yeah, vast majority. I thought I did quite good there. Um, so we could have gained his trust and learned more. Um, I guess it's because we confronted him directly about it. I, I chose the um, direct choice about asking about his father. But I suppose you shouldn't do that. Um, minority, you told Daniel to stop lying to Chris about his power. Yeah, because it's responsible. Uh, if he keeps believing he's got a power, he's going to get into some, some serious shit. You listened to Cassidy's song until the end. Um, slight minority. It was a good song. She actually really could sing. You didn't draw for Chris. 50%. Oh, fucking hell, I suck. I'm really trying my best to find all the optional shit. You drew a spaceship, you drew zombies for Chris. I mean, Chris physically wasn't there and I couldn't see an option to draw. <sighs> Shit, man. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to miss anything. That's why it's taken me so long to do these episodes. 33%, you stole a Christmas gift. Most people, majority, bought one. I just didn't have enough money. Shit, man. Shit. <laughs> That's the one thing I regret. Um, you didn't get involved in Charles's problems, 90%. You had an honest conversation with Charles about his problems. I mean, I, I, 
I feel like I'm choosing the right shit for what I want to happen, and then I'm getting the uh, the opposite effect. I wanted to talk to him about his problems. I chose the direct option to to talk about his problems, and then I didn't get involved. Ninety percent weird. You let Daniel use his power to help Stephen, and he wasn't hurt. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh, if I if we didn't use Daniel's power to lift the cabinet um thing. He would have injured his leg. I'm glad we did that. Uh, sort of 50-50 here. The, the cop chased you and Chris. What the fuck? The, the cop chased you and Chris wasn't hit by a car. That's a slight minority. The majority of people, slightly more. Uh, uh, the cop chased you and Chris was hit by a car. I was worried that the, the car was just going to straight up run Chris down. But then Daniel did the, the power. And I had no input there. That was like a cutscene. So I don't know how the hell you get the other options. Um, the cop didn't chase you and Chris helped you escape. I'm interested to know how the fuck that would have played out. How, how do you get the cop didn't chase you ending? Strange. Daniel did not continue to swear. Good. 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 Daniel won the dice game without cheating. Oh, so Daniel can cheat. <laughs> majority. Cheated. Daniel didn't kill the cougar majority. Yep, Daniel was not able to bury Mushroom. <sighs> oh, yeah. Daniel agreed to pray. 96%. Okay. Uh, Daniel didn't want to tidy the room. Daniel tidied the room. Dad and Daniel wasn't asked to help with the chores. Mm. I'm trying to teach him good shit. He should have, he should have tied it. Daniel was told to tell the truth, but he continued lying to Chris. Daniel obeyed and told Chris the truth about his power. How the fuck do you get all these different options? Do you see what I mean? That's another thing. I told him the truth and then he didn't tell him the truth, but, but he could have. Weird. Overall, Daniel was encouraged to use his power. I'm in the minority there. Mm. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. 50-50 with Daniel didn't use his power. To... Right, okay. So maybe if I'd have convinced him, like the, the previous one, Daniel was repressed from using his power. Shit like that. If I had basically discouraged him from using his power as much, maybe he wouldn't have saved Chris. So by pure luck... He actually saved Chris there. Cool. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. 60% nice. Daniel enjoyed his early Christmas presents. Cool. Nice. Oh, here we go. Experienced and honest. Looking for work. Interesting episode. Oh, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. Is this cannabis? Stinks. Is this weed? Yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. There's no way this isn't marijuana. Come on. Oh! I'll show you around. It's Cassidy! <laughs> yes! So we did hook up with her on the train. How lucky is that? And that looked like one giant weed farm. So have we joined Cassidy and... I can't remember the other guy's name. Casty and the stoner guy. We've joined them on the train, clearly, and it looks like they've led us to a giant weed situation down in California, maybe? She did say they've got work down south. Um, so maybe they're, they're running a pot farm. Oh, God. We're going to commit more crimes. Thanks for joining me for episode two. Uh, I'm... I'm liking where it's going. Things are getting definitely more intriguing for me, which is a good thing. I'm feeling more engaged than I was at the start of this game. Um, I'm damn cute. The thing I'm most curious about uh, is the mother. I want to know why she left, and something tells me we're going to learn. So, interesting. I kind of like the fact that a lot of the decisions or ch uh, like choices aren't going our way. Like, I'm trying to do one thing, and it's having the opposite effect. So it's, it's keeping things kind of unpredictable. Um, and I've had a few unintended good consequences, like Chris not getting hit by the car. So I think, I think, 
on balance, I've, uh, I've made some good choices so far. I've made the good, correct choices. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for more of the same content. Liquid Blitz, out.